Hello and welcome to day 16 of the Empath Challenge. Today's topic is confidence. And, you know, no, knowing that we can go deeper into other people and we understand other people, that's great. I'm asking you today to understand yourself. And what I have seen is many of us are so aware of how other people are feeling and lost in that exchange, lost in knowing who we are, that oftentimes we're quiet. We're not speaking. We're not confident. So this is part of the task at hand for each of us is to find our confidence, is to find our voice. How do we become confident? How do we find our voice? How do we speak without backlash coming out at us? So let's take the first one. Confidence, in my opinion, you need to build yourself to that point. Build yourself up. What does that mean? (laughs) That means knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing your place, knowing that You do know things. You are smart. You have something to contribute. Even if it doesn't seem readily available to you and there's no proof in front of you that you are a value, you don't have to do, say, or be anything special to be a value. You just have to connect to yourself. You're here for a reason. Be your own best friend and support yourself on the journey. That means the skeptic has got to be quiet because at the end of the day, that skeptic is not helping you. It's a part of you. It's an energy that's around you that you're listening to. But believing and knowing that you have the ability to change, direct, rewire everything that is going on in in your little world, your little world, not in the world around you necessarily. Your primary focus is going to be you, you and how you are connecting to your life, how you're stepping forward, how you're speaking, what you're doing. And there are people all around you that are here to help But at the end of the day, nobody can give us confidence. That's something that comes from within us. When we dig deep and we we connect to the love that's in our hearts, connect to our own value, support ourselves, speak kindly to ourselves. So for today, I want you to find the skeptic that's in you and shine a light on that skeptic. I want you to write out what that skeptic says, what insecurities are in you that bring bring you to a place of, of quiet, of lacking the confidence to truly step forward in your life. All right. So I hope that was clear. I know it's a big big thing to write about, but you can do it and you'll be great at it. You'll see it. The more you see parts of yourself that hold you back, you're not wrong for having those parts, but you need to see them in order to then change the way you're connecting to yourself and the way you see yourself. Because we create what we feel, we create what we think, um, we feel what we think. <laughs> so it becomes one of those like circles that you go around and around with it. So uh, anyway, that is your challenge today. Have yourself a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.